the Wise Guys TCG10. Coupon code, use it. What's going on guys? It's Greg Farley from the Wise Guys and I'm here with the, the, mus the muscles. Oh my God, the muscles. I'm here with Kyron. Sorry. Kyron. He, he's spaced out. He's, he's had a long day. He's a he's been a, a day. he's been a he's a really nice guy. He's a, he's secretly Clark Kent as Superman. And uh, yeah, I, I, I don't I've never seen him at the same time. Let's get into it though. That's that's enough of me talking. What did you what what is this about, um, sir? So played at Lenexa Regional um, last weekend, mm -hmm. and I got my first invite. First ever? Uh, yeah, first ever. To Dope nationals. So um, and we played Lost World. Dino. So, I've been playing it for a long time. Um, Misket Three is busted. It's way too good. Word. Um, and it, it's a really good. I think it's a really good meta call too. So like Salaman Great and Danger Orcus. I don't really care if I see it just because um, I'm really comfortable with the outs. So word, like, word, word. Let's get into that young deck profile. That spice. Cool. So we'll that start heat. with obviously three Raptor. He's your starter of the deck. Um, people have seen. Uh, Dino profiles. That's that's if you're playing anything other than that, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. um, he's Rota. Uh, he's foolish. Um, so yeah, you need him. You need he's a Rota. nice guy. Don't call him a fool. Man. Yeah. Um, and then obviously three of this guy. When I saw that he came back to three, I was it's aesthetic. I was so happy. Yeah. yeah. Because I was finally like, I think. I mean, I think it's full power. Um, I mean, if you go. If you bring back Litho or Ding Long or whatever like that, mm -hmm. then obviously you can play True King. But Lost World, this is this makes the deck full power in my opinion. Um, so you'll play three of him. He's uh, you pitch him, nothing can touch your dinos. They're unaffected by activated effects. And so usually what I would do is I would stand by main, pitch it, and I wouldn't even have a monster set. So they either have to answer the Miscellanosaurus with a call or a roar or like a crescendo or something like that. And if they don't, then I can just free play. Yeah. So. Gotcha. Three of them. Uh, three prank chops. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going second blind, I guess blind the whole time. I'm not really blind because I'm either going to see Salaman Grave. You can't be blind. You have an excellent pair of spectacles on you. Got, yeah, yeah. So we've we seen all that. We've seen all the goods. <laughs> so three of him. He's easy. Um, Did you ever brick with him at uh, all? No. Okay. No, not once. There wasn't a time where I drew him and I was mad about it. Okay. So, uh, two Tyranno. Um, some people will play three. I think two is perfect. There wasn't really ever a point where I needed a third one, not even in the grind game. I played, first round I played against Salaman Great, and it was a grind um, all the way to time where I poked him for 6,800 past turn, and he had like two minutes to summon. I flipped everything face down, and he... I guess stalled for time, but he was down by 6,800. So <laughs> and didn't realize. Yeah, then he just passed turn, so it was yeah. GG. Um, I say for the baby package, I played two petite, two baby. Um, I don't really know much to say about this. If you wanted to, you could maybe cut a petite. Uh, I usually sided one out um, in games uh, two and or three if, mm. I, if it needed to be done. But this is good. He brings out a pink of tops, um, which is usually the play that I went for. Uh, baby is just... Baby, yeah, yeah, way too good. Uh, two plotless. This was kind of my question here. I thought about going to one. I sometimes sided him out, but you summon him off of his own summoning condition so much because of Miscellanosaurus, where you banish two with Conductor, and then you will literally summon him by using Miscellanosaurus, banish for a special something and then summon him by shuffling five back in. Like, mm. It's actually crazy how, or I did it like, I think two or three times during the day, summoning him off of his own, his own condition, so. Um, moving on, we'll play two Dogran, one Gamma Seal, no Alio. Um, I didn't miss it once today. There That's a level one yeah, for Yeah, I, I never missed it once. There, I, I think, honestly, this is, like as far as Lost World, it's the only profile, the only deck that I know that doesn't play it. And through playtesting, playtesting, playtesting with all my guys, when I saw it, I lost. Or I was just very upset. And that thing just sticks to my hand. Every single time I open it, so I was like, screw it, I'm gonna put into, I'm gonna put a gamma seal in here. And twice on Saturday, I gamma sealed somebody. Um, with Lost World out, and then I brought my own Dogran out, gave them a token, and then I just proceeded to go off. And it was against Striker, so they had a Gamma Seal on their side, then I had my own Dogran on the side, so... Dogran's a dinosaur, yeah, in case dino. you forgot. He's searchable. In case you forgot. He's searchable, and I had to do that to out um, the, the Link 4 um, 
Avermax? Yeah, yeah, Avermax. Yeah, I had to do that to out him. So, uh, one of uh, one seg- or uh, Sestegosaur. There's a combo with him in World Dino Wrestling, the lot or the field spell, or you bring him out and you go off. Uh, so one of him, one Rex. Um, those are kind of my only one ofs I think, other than the Gamma Seal. Uh, he's amazing. I love Giant Rex. I wish he wasn't once per turn, but. Yeah, yeah. Well, then he'd be silly. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> way too silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for hand traps, uh, three Valor, three Ash. Um, How clutch were those all, dude? Oh, uh, God. Uh, I played against the Danger Orcust. I Ashed him and I Valored him. He called them both. And I was like, okay, whatever. And he proceeded to set up his board, but he used Distrudo. And so he passed turn to me. And then he kept letting me play and not preventing any of my plays. And so it got to the point where he had a token, and then I brought out Conductor, and he had two Fog Blades, so he couldn't do anything because you can't target if you have if you have a token. So he handed the game to you. <laughs> I literally I didn't even have to activate effect. I just attacked over everything, and it was game because mm-hmm. he had already paid four thousand life points. So wow, he was silly. he was pretty mad about that, but I mean, eh, it is what it is. Um, onto the spells now. Uh, so it's uh, twenty eight monsters and fourteen spells, so forty two. So okay. three lost one or three fossil big. Not much to say about that. That's easy. Mm-hmm. Um, and then three Lost World. Uh, I I like it. I like it at three. Uh, there's a couple times where you know it was a little bricky where I had two in hand, but it it sometimes came up where they would they would MST or they would you know, hit the, hit the Lost World and then I would just set another one. So I wasn't too mad about it. But I probably won't cut it. I like it. It's kind of the heart and soul of the deck, honestly. Uh, two terraforming, so two more. Two foolish burial goods. That is for this. World Dino Wrestling. So this is a banishes cost special summon the Stegosaur from deck. And if that goes off while you have Boss World, they get a token, and then you get to search Pranker Chops off of the off of the. Uh, search so, of the so you never go straight for the Pranker Chops. Mm-hmm. I go okay. for the Stegosaur um, because usually I can do all of that without even summoning anything, mm-hmm. and so it's just like plenty of opportunity for them to ash. So it's like you can ash that. Okay, are you gonna ash the Stegosaur? No, that was the guy with the Danger Orcus. I was like, you gotta ash something, and then he finally ashed me to search Pranker Chops, but I already had it in hand on mm-hmm. my normal draw. So that's. So you clapped him anyway. Yeah, unlucky. (laughs) Uh, Two pill. Uh, Not too mad about it. Um, I heard these were outlawed in Alabama. Uh, (laughs) Just kidding. Um, Just kidding. I I break down it once or twice just because if I don't see a hand trap, if I don't see a hand trap, uh, you're kind of screwed because it's dead. Mm -hmm. But um, the couple times that I used it, it didn't get ashed or anything like that. Usually, because it was kind of late game that I played it in the first place. Um, and then last one to kind of round it off is Foolish Burial. It's free. Usually send Qualis or you send. Um, uh, did you Dyrex. did you ever think about that survival's in card? I have a really good friend that loves the card, but yeah, I did, and I thought about running it in there too to kind of send it with Foolish Burial goods. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did that with some playtesting too, and it always seemed that like I would I would send it in there. But if I was sending that instead of World Dino Wrestling, I was going to lose anyways because I didn't have like a follow-up play or anything yeah. like that. So, cool, cool, um, cool. And, and I was like, I, I said it one time as kind of a bluff, and I was like, oh, that, that worked great. Not really. Word, so, word, word. Just getting that young. Extra deck or... Extra is fine. Extra, okay. Um, Lagia and Dolka, um, these are amazing. He was way amazing against uh, Salaman Great. You bring him out. He's, he's two negates, and a lot of people don't realize that he's not once per turn two and so they walk into it twice <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah and then they look really confused and they have to do and then they're kind of upset uh, Lagia is really really good too just a solemn judgment I didn't go into him too much but he's always good to have uh, other rank fours Tornado Dragon I went into him a lot um, I went into him a lot uh, Cowboy just in case need game I uh, never went into him, but yeah, yeah. it's so easy, it's so easy. Uh, Exiton, never went into him. Um, Baguska went into him once, just to kind of stall myself out so I could kind of recover. Uh, this is... It's a lot of rank I want more of them. Oh, you yeah. got the whole squad of rank fours. Yeah, 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 we, that's all we run. Well, not really all we run. We have one, we have one spice, um, and that's that. Uh, wait, wait, what? Uh, oh, uh, can you explain that, sir? That's Conductor. You bring out, you usually attack him for a whole bunch of stuff, and if you don't kill him, you, you overlay Conductor. With another one? Yep, and just detach for a game. So, 
um, that usually gets them pretty upset because you, they see you doing stuff. Shout out to the compulsive nodder over here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, tell, tell them who, who suggested that you're going to see over there. Uh, that was, was that you? That was you, yeah. That was you. All right, Kenny. Get yourself in here. I kept wiping you. Yeah, um, but yeah, so I have two kind of game situations, which is good. I didn't have to go into them, though, usually because I would just blast them out. But mm -hmm. through playtesting, I saw it a couple times, so it was really, really good. Cool. Um, that's for the XYZs. Um, no synchros or anything like that. Uh, Lynx, uh, Underclock Taker, and Pentastag. This is probably the one I went into most. Awesome. Because he points to Conductor, you attack over a token for 3,500. Um, and that... It's disrespectful. Yeah, well, they don't they don't know what it does sometimes, and so when you do it, they're like, are you using effect? And I was like, I'm not using conductor's effect. I'm just going to hit you for 35, and they have to read it, and so... Whenever you're, whenever they're reading, you're winning. Yeah, usually, because they grabbed Lost World, and I was like, okay, I'll just kind of hang out for a little bit. Um, Nightmare Phoenix. Broken. Uh, just way too good. Uh, this, never went into it, but it's always nice to have, just in case you need to out something. Uh, this... Sauce. This. So you got three time cards, sir. This is super. Three of them things. Yeah, this is super nice. <laughs> I did this against a Sky Striker player. He set three, and he set three and had like Shizuku on and passed. And I kaijued over it, and I did my whole play. And then I was scared about what he had because I knew he searched, I knew he searched at least one Widow Anchor. I didn't know what else it was. So I, uh, I linked three off into. Trisbana, and then mm. I summoned UCT kind of middle here, and then I banished Giant Rex off it, so I just special Giant Rex right to the zone. Giant Rex banished, banished three, and then I attacked for game. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, I, I felt pretty good about that play. That was pretty nice. It was disrespectful. Uh, this never went into it, but eh, whatever. Um, and then Boralode, just because it's Boralode. I didn't need Boral Sword just because everyone, you know, UCT is kind of your win condition to begin with. Yeah. Um, and so Boral Sword. This is nice, like, if you need something that's like, can't be targeted. Uh, never went into it, but. So if you absolutely feel like you need to just replace the deco. Yep, yep. yep. Well, yeah. Let's get in that side deck real quick. Okay, so side deck super fast. Uh, side deck I feel really, really good about. I don't think there's going to be much change here. Um, Mystic Mind, never saw it. Um, but I actually aren't you a guy. lucky man? Well, oh, I did yeah. see it against the Sky Striker player. He played it, and then we stalled each other for like four turns. Then I finally drew into it, popped it, and then he actually just said GG because he had nothing. And Four. I was we were kind of just playing to see who could draw into whatever. Uh, two red reboot. Uh, saw this against Danger Orcust. I don't care about paying life points because I'm gonna kill you in one shot. Um, crackdown. Crackdown's super good, especially when they make you go first. And uh, everybody did that. Uh, one person did, and I'm he surprised won. more people didn't after they saw what happened, mm -hmm. but one person did. I didn't see it, but through all the playtesting, I feel really good about well, this. The thing about Dino is you beat him so quickly, you get out of there, and nobody saw what you were playing. Yeah, they're kind of <laughs> confused as to what just happened. Um, Lancia, this is, you know, uh, Orcust, because it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, this, Vanity's Fiend. The oh. homie. This was um, this was super good. All you do is a lot of what you can do can be done without normal summoning. So mm -hmm. you normal summon a whole lot of stuff, or you'll special summon a whole lot of stuff. And if you're going second, it's great because you can whiteboard if you have to. And if you don't kill him, then you literally can just tribute over a conductor if you want to bring him out Word. and pass turn and. Usually that's the end of it, um, mm -hmm. and then uh, three calls. Word, word, so, word, word, word. Any shout outs you want to give, uh, sir? Yeah, uh, we'll, uh, we'll start. Um, Team CFH, we have uh, Kenny, Sebastian, mm -hmm. Tyler, Aaron, Trenton, uh, Armin, Air, or Armin, and Michael, and Kyle. Um, not, not that guy. That guy all, is just a gypsy. Uh, we, play, we, we, we play tested a whole lot. Actually, um, In actually, the whole day of the regional. Um, the whole day of the regional, actually, before we started playing, I actually wasn't feeling very good, like, really sick to my stomach, and they you, were, So you weren't going to play? I wasn't going to play. And they told you to play? And they told me to play. And what happened? his deck list five minutes before yeah, the deadline. I turned, out, I turned in my deck list, like, with, like, two minutes left, and, um, and then we, we can did Can we get the head nod? <laughs> can we get the head nod? You listen to Kenny. And then we did some stuff, and so no, it was really good. I appreciate them. We we play tested a whole lot, um, and I felt I felt I felt really good about going in with Dino, um, just especially through all my play testing, kind of the advice that they gave me and stuff like that. Um, shout outs to Greg, uh, the man, the man videotaping. Appreciate you as always. Um, 
Uh, I think that's that's about it. No, I feel pretty good about it. We'll we'll see what we take to Nats. I'll probably take this to Nats too. And we'll see, we'll see you in Pittsburgh, sir. Okay. All right. See you guys. See you on the river.